now, the news. It may sound counterintuitive, but galleries specializing in NFTs are beginning to pop up around the world. The art asset is natively digital, but the world still has a desire to see art on walls and own something that can be tangibly displayed. That's why I'm a big fan of Cambia. And that's why we're starting to see legacy art world dealers begin to create new spaces just for NFTs. The most notable announcement thus far is an offering from Nagel Drexler Gallery. The Berlin space will open in January with a show from the art world polyhyphenate Kenny Schachter. The project is currently slated to be called Crypto Cabinet. The legendary Dave Hickey, who is known in art circles as the bad boy of art criticism, passed away on the 12th of this month at his home in Santa Fe, New Mexico, succumbing to heart disease. Dave was opinionated, bombastic, and purely Texan, which made him an unexpected harbinger of taste in the art world. He wrote for every major art news outlet and was awarded a MacArthur Fellowship. His critical essays were published in two volumes, 1993's The Invisible Dragon for Essays on Beauty, and 1997's Air Guitar, Essays on Art and Democracy. The latter, Air Guitar, is considered by many as the finest work of art criticism ever produced. His writing would deviate from the linear task of analyzing paintings and travel down side topics as diverse as TV families, sports, politics, and outlaw country music. If you have an opportunity, pick up one of his books or search for one of his many tape discussions that you can find on YouTube. PBS has recently released a new episode of its documentary series, Secrets of the Dead, that shines a light on the theft and recovery of the Caravaggio painting, St. Jerome Writing. The painting is a historic piece of the Caravaggio puzzle. Caravaggio had fled Rome after the murder of Renuncio Tomassoni and sought exile in Malta. There he hooked up with the Knights of St. John and was even inducted into the order himself. He hoped the order could help him get a pardon from the Pope. It was during this time that he painted St. Jerome writing as well as the beheading of John the Baptist, which is arguably one of his greatest works and the only painting he ever signed. Caravaggio stayed put in Malta until he again got in an argument with another knight, busted down his door, and injured him with his sword. So that's the story of the painting. Then there's the story of the theft. It turns out that these two paintings that I just described still lived in St. John's Coke Cathedral in Valletta, Malta. In 1984, two thieves arrived in the afternoon, paid admission to see the exhibit of historic artwork, and made their way upstairs to the gallery that housed our pal Jerome. They then placed a work in progress sign in the doorway while they removed the painting from the wall and cut it from its frame. The painting was then rolled up and dropped from the window to the sidewalk below. They then calmly left and picked up the canvas on the way to the getaway car. I'll let the documentary fill you in on the rest of the details about the thieves inability to fence the painting and how it was eventually returned, but let's just say that the museum director had to take matters into his own hands to locate and return the painting more than two years later. It's Miami Art Week, which means the art world is gathering this week in South Florida to gawk and be gawked at. Art Basel started organizing its U.S. version of its iconic art fair back in 2002, and the event has outgrown everyone's expectations. It's not just Art Basel Miami Beach that will be taking place this week, it's also countless parties, exhibitions, projects, and other art fairs that reach a variety of different audiences. In Miami Beach, these include Design Miami, Inc. Miami, The Satellite Art Show, Scope Miami Beach, and Untitled Miami Beach. There are at least another eight art fairs going on in the greater Miami metro area, including Art Miami. The festivities began yesterday and run through Sunday, December 5th. If you're headed to Miami, have fun, but watch out for variants. That's all the time we have for this week. You've been listening to Art Sense. 
You can find the show on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio, Spotify, or your favorite podcast app. If you've enjoyed this podcast, be sure to subscribe. And while you're there, please rate the show and leave a quick review. Your feedback is the key to other folks finding us. If you'd like to see images related to the conversation, read a transcript, and find other bonus features, you can go to cambia.art and click on the podcast tab. If you'd like to reach out to me, you can email me at craig at cambia.art. Thanks for listening. Thank you.